To your left, folks, is the Washington Monument. To your right, the White House. And over there, just beyond the Capitol, is the National Debt. Whoa! Oh, wow! There's something huge, red, white, and blue, that's grazing in D.C. It's gobbling up the taxes that are paid by you and me. It doesn't seem to notice we really can't afford the billions that it's costing us to pay its room and board. It doesn't roam, but seems content to dwell on Capitol Hill. As long as trucks keep pulling up with tons of greenback bills, we've got to feed the big guy we really can't forget. It has an awesome appetite, Tyrannosaurus debt. The debt was born in 1790 when our new government took over 75 million the colonies spent in the Revolutionary War. We've got to feed the monster so it doesn't get upset. It's got an awesome appetite, Tyrannosaurus debt. Alexander Hamilton, our first Secretary of the Treasury, he's on the tan, you know, wanted a federal debt to provide a reason to establish taxes to support our new nation. The debt was young, they kept it small, they didn't know back then. In 1812, another war would make it grow again. By 66, the Civil War had cost the nation millions. The government in Washington now had a debt of billions. The Civil War ran up a debt of almost $3 billion that still wasn't paid off by World War I. We're spending money we don't have, or so it would appear. The deficit is that amount we overspend each year. Though congressmen and senators make vows to cut its size, despite their honest efforts, the debt just seems to rise. Now the debt's over five trillion dollars and still growing. A balanced budget would be great to spend within our means and stop the monster in its tracks before we bust our seams. It feeds on just the interest. Its appetite is wet. It never, ever stops to rest Tyrannosaurus debt. And this is the U.S. Treasury. It sells Treasury bonds, bills and notes, and savings bonds to finance the debt. The U.S. government promises to pay the owner interest plus the value of each bond at a future date. We've got to try to tame the debt and bring it down to size. To let it grow unchecked like this is certainly unwise. The debt's a monster problem that we really can't ignore. I guess we should be grateful that it's not a carnivore. We got to keep on servicing our trillion dollar pet. It's got a monster appetite, Tyrannosaurus debt. A fiscal misadventure with trillion dollar dentures, Tyrannosaurus debt. Feeding time is all the time.